Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. I know that many of you, my subscribers, love air dry clay projects. I also like working with this product, so for that reason today I'm coming to you with three new air dry clay ideas. This time I will be creating decorations perfect for Christmas or as a gift for your loved ones. But if you haven't worked with air dry clay before, uh, I recommend checking out my other video where I share a few tips and tricks on how to work with this product. I also created separate playlists with all of my air dry clay projects I created so far. So I'll make sure to leave the link to it down below for you. And now without any further ado, let's get right into the first project. To create many templates for my projects, I'm using Canva. It's just so much easier than trying to draw the perfect shape by myself. For this project, I searched for graphic Christmas tree. I found the shape I like, adjust it to the A4 format, save it and then print it. I will leave the link in the description if you want to check out Canva as well. I've signed up for the pro version to have access to more designs. I take a big piece of air dry clay and start kneading it between my hands. It has to be quite a big piece as the tree shape itself is big plus I want it to be thick. Then using my craft rolling pin, I rolled out the clay flat. I placed my tree template on top of it, making sure there is clay under the whole piece of paper. At first using knife, I just trace the lines around the tree edges. Then I remove template and cut out the new shape. With the extra clay, I knead it all together and save it for the future in the tight sealed bag or container. Using sponge and water, I go around the tree, smoothing out the edges and get rid of any imperfections. With the special tool for the clay, I'm going to engrave the middle part of my clay, leaving about 1 cm thick edge around. You could easily achieve the same effect by creating the edge with extra piece of clay. I just wanted to try something different and use my new tools. It's also quite satisfying process. Then again using some water and the sponge I smooth out the whole surface. And just like that I leave it for about 2 days till it's fully dry. Even that you try to smooth the edges out with the water, once it's dry there will be always some imperfections. That's why before I paint it I like to take sanding block or paper and sand down all the flows. Always try to do it gently, especially here where you have many pointy parts. Personalize it whichever way you want. I went with a darker green acrylic paint. Then I'm going to add few gold spots and cover it all up with gloss mod podge. My candle holder will be created out of few separate pieces of clay. I start with the bottom plate. I take a piece of air dry clay and roll it out flat to the same thickness. Take any item which you will be able to create perfect circle with. It has to be slightly bigger than you want your candle holder bottom to be. I take this small plastic bowl and cut out the circle. Again you can create a wall by adding extra piece of clay around or like me just rise the edge of the circle. The wall can't be too high as the clay is soft and will collapse before it gets dry. As you can see I also keep holding this wall when I try to smooth it out. 
I roll out another piece of clay and cut out the rectangle shape out of it. Take the candle you are going to place in your new candle holder and wrap this piece of clay around it. This will give you the rough idea on how wide it has to be. Don't press too hard and keep it in mind that air dry clay shrinks when drying. And then just simply connect two ends together by tapping them. To add some Christmassy detail on it, I cut out the star shape. To connect two separate pieces of clay together, it's always good to make few cuts on them and wet with water. To make the connection stronger between the dish and the part for the candle, I wrap thin roll of clay around it and then press it and smooth it so it looks like one piece. For the more vintage look, I've also adding small handle to my candle holder. Very similar process, I just make thin roll, then wrap it uh, and attach to the other part. As I mentioned before, I'm going for more vintage look and I also want to try the new technique. So to paint my candle holder, I've decided to use coffee. Stronger coffee you make, the darker color you will get. Because it's very watery, which may clay slightly soft again, make sure to leave it to dry before applying another coat. Painting with coffee is almost like using watercolors. I really like the Ceramic House Tea Light Lantern, so I've decided to create my own out of Erdre clay. I take empty box in the size I want my house to be and I wrap it all with silver tape. You can cut out individual walls of the house and then put them together, but I've decided to create one piece of clay which will go around the box. So I take big piece of clay and roll it flat to get a rectangle shape. I cut the longest edges straight as they will create top and bottom of my walls. I take this long piece and wrap it around the box making sure the edge of the clay and edge of the box are straight and in the same line. I cut the excess clay off and connect two ends together. Because later on I will be adding roof on top of my house, now I have to change the shape of the walls. So for the two sides of the house I create triangle shape on top of the wall. Make sure they are the same size on both sides. And for the front and the back of the house I cut straight lines. For the windows, I will be cutting them out, but before that, I'm creating window frames. I thought this will add extra detail to this lantern. And once the frame is done, I can start cutting out the glass part of the window. Of course, you can customize this whichever way you want. More holes in the clay, then more light will come through. Just keep in mind that I'm not 100% sure how Eldra clay behaves with the real flame. That's why I will be only using battery powered tea lights. And once the base of the house is dry, I can gently remove the cardboard. Now it's time to create the roof. 
I measure what size of the rectangle I will need. I'm adding a few centimeters here and there so the roof sticks out a little bit from each side. As this clay is very soft, I need something what will prevent the roof from collapsing. I took a wooden skewer and placed it exactly in the middle of the roof and then placed my clay on top of it. In this position, I left it till fully dry. Once the roof is dry, I'm attaching it to the rest of the house with super glue. I glue all the top edges and then place roof on top of it and press down for few seconds. Later I painted it with white acrylic paint and protect with Mod Podge. Don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section which project was your favorite and if you are going to recreate any of them, make sure to tag me on Instagram, I love to see your creations. And for now, thank you so much for watching, your support and I will see you in my next video. Merry Christmas!